I, mean, I think everybody has to realize that, that we're in a global competition to invent a 21st century healthcare IT infrastructure for a 21st century healthcare system and may the best country win in terms of solving their own cost, quality, and access problems, but then exporting some of those ideas and the intellectual property and those new technologies to all the other countries who are dealing with the same challenges. And I'm a little bit worried as a U.S. citizen that the, that the U.S. doesn't have a sort of national strategy around health IT that's as competitive as what we're seeing in other parts of the world like Australia, China, and the EU. On the one hand, it's great that we're, we've got meaningful use criteria, it's great that we're starting the EHR build out, but you compare that to some other countries like Australia who are building out a national broadband network, not just to sort of deliver Hollywood movies to you and me, but fundamentally so that they can shift healthcare to the home and the community. And they're rolling out a personal health record to every citizen in Australia by this summer. They're, they're driving a vision towards building out a nationwide 21st century care infrastructure that's sort of dealing with the realities of global aging where more of their population are older than younger. And I think, in some sense, the U.S. still has our head in the sand about global aging. We don't like to pretend that we're getting older. We don't like to think about that fact. And we're, we're, we're trying to drive efficiencies for our old healthcare system by using health IT, but we haven't yet sort of reconciled the fact that we may need a really new kind of health IT system to facilitate our own global competitiveness. Uh, China's putting $125 billion into health IT, just in terms of raw numbers, it's much larger than we're actually you know, investing in the U.S. They're, a larger, you know, they're becoming a larger economy. Um, it, it's more like, it's really hard to sort of tell where the U.S. is going at a national level, and it's hard to sort of know what it looks like and feels like when we get there. In the EU, for example, they set a cross-national strategic plan for 10 years that said they were going to increase the quality of life uh, for all of their citizens by two years, longevity and quality by two years, with some very specific metrics. That sort of vision is then sort of driving a set of policy changes, a set of health IT investments, and a set of workforce retraining to go achieve that really audacious goal. So we don't have any kind of endpoint that feels like it's sort of driving. We're saying let's just improve cost, let's improve quality, let's improve access. I think it's one of the reasons why average citizens who aren't in the healthcare field have been you know, reticent to get excited about health reform. It's this abstract notion, it's just about insurance, they sort of don't know where we're going. When you talk to people in these other countries, they feel like, okay, we know where we're going, we may not want to agree with all the pieces of it, but we get some sense of what it looks like in the end, and then there's a sort of framework that helps them understand why health IT is important, because it's like, you know, the bridge to somewhere, as opposed to the bridge to nowhere, is what it feels like in the U.S. right now.